más que orar ni más. Ya que estando lejos, tú no eres ajeno por el que vas conmigo. Tus fieles reflejos alivian mis penas, la noche es testigo. Si me comprendieras, si me conocieras, jamás dudarías. Y mis condiciones serían las razones que tú aceptarías. Ponle, llegó la salsa, que te gusta, que te encanta, que te está pasando, que te está sucediendo, ay no sé, mi vida, ay no me pasa la vida, déjame tranquila, que te está pasando, que te está sucediendo, ay no me pasa la vida, ay no me pasa la vida. de amor que muere si te llamo tú no me respondes te ocultas cuando me ves por eso te siento que hay algo que no anda muy bien te necesito tú lo sabes bien que me colmes con tu placer hold up a mirror to the city of Los Angeles and what is reflected a place where innovation thrives where opportunity abounds and intellect expands, where creativity produces new visions, where compassion heals, where science and technology drive progress. Hold up a mirror to the city and what is reflected? A place that embraces all people. Where we transform lives with each step up the ladder of prosperity where we energize communities, where we reinvigorate our region and shape the future of our city, our state, and our nation. Hold up a mirror to the city and what do you see? Cal State LA. We are LA. Join us as we soar to greater heights. Cal State LA ranked number one in the nation for upward mobility.
Welcome to the California State University, Los Angeles, commencement ceremony for the Rongxiang Shu College of Health and Human Services. Will the class of 2020 please rise to be acknowledged by your family and friends? Now, will everyone please rise for the National Anthem? Please turn your attention to the screen. The National Anthem will be performed by the Cal State LA Graduate Choral Ensemble and will be conducted by Melissa Aguilar Gray. Please be seated. Now, please welcome to the stage the president of California State University, Los Angeles, William A. Covino. Good afternoon. Congratulations and welcome back, class of 2020. Here you are. It's genuinely exciting to see you here face to face on campus. Where you been? Hmm? It's just, it's, and to see so many family and friends around, it's just, just terrific uh, to have you all here sharing in this celebration. And uh, also a welcome and thank you to the Dean of the Rongshang Shu College of Health and Human Services, Ron Vogel, who's overseeing the festivities from back there. There's Ron. Thank you, Ron. And a big thank you to the dozens and dozens and dozens of folks who have made today uh, possible. It has, uh, in the face of uh, challenges and, uh, and lots of you know, sort of logistical considerations, uh, there are so many people who have pulled this all together and are so very dedicated to celebrating your success. Most of them wearing white hats around uh, the campus and you see them standing here and there and helping you with this and that. So uh, all the folks with white hats on have, uh, have dedicated their time to your success and to your celebration. So many thanks to them as well. 
So we are, uh, we are here to honor and celebrate you, right? This is your day. Uh, I also want to acknowledge that uh, there are some graduates who couldn't be here with us today who are watching via live stream. So wherever you are in the world right now, you're a part of this celebration as well, and we congratulate you as well, along with your colleague graduates. You all have recognized that a Cal State LA degree is a life-changing uh, achievement. With that degree comes a unique identity. You are a university graduate. Not everybody can say that. And you are forever a Cal State LA Golden Eagle. No one can take that away from you either. Now, a Cal State LA Golden Eagle has uh, some significant qualities. A Golden Eagle is powerful and tenacious and resourceful and resilient and innovative. A Cal State LA Golden Eagle knows the value of service to others. So that is who you are. That is who you will be. And we're so very pleased to have been a part of that journey. During the pandemic, you illustrated what it means to be a Golden Eagle. Life changed quickly, and you were forced to adapt just as quickly. It wasn't easy. You remember, you were, you, in March, you were taking your classes here on campus and walking from place to place. At the beginning of March, and by the end of March, you were home in front of a screen, and so were the rest of us. So it wasn't easy to adapt and change, but you did. And not only did you adapt and change, but you did so with great success. Uh, so the, the, the whole community, uh, faculty and staff and students and administrators and all of our surrounding neighbors really think the world of what you've been able to do uh, in this unique context and what you've been able to make happen. You didn't give up on your dream of learning and earning a university degree. You continued studying. You continued serving others. You continued caring for your family. You continued striving toward your goals in spite of every challenge that the pandemic has caused. Even as the world around you seemed at times to fall apart, you worked hard and prepared to build a better world. And it is this foresight, this focus on building a better world that is what it means to be a golden eagle. That focus allows us to see beyond the immediate circumstances, beyond the immediate and uh, seemingly insurmountable challenges and the problems that seem like they are insoluble. Because, you know, golden eagles soar, right? They have a unique perspective. They can see things that others can't see. And you can see, I hope, that many of the problems and challenges that uh, many folks think are with us forever and can't be solved or changed and will not uh, will not go away, uh, are, uh, are, are solvable, and you're the ones who can solve them. Because Golden Eagles see a future in which social justice is the order of the day, and a future in which we've defeated many of the challenges we see now. Golden Eagles are a force for good in a world that desperately needs goodness. You're uniquely equipped to serve and to lift up your community. You have, I would venture to say, superpowers. You, uh, you have one, one of the superpowers is caring for one another. Uh, you are dedicated to that, and you have shown it time and time again in the immediate circumstances and throughout your lives. Another superpower is compassion in the face of suffering, which has been something that we have all needed 
to display, act upon, reach out with uh, during this time, and uh, a superpower that certainly will serve us well anytime and anywhere. And of course, a third superpower is the knowledge and skill to make a difference. The knowledge and skill to make a difference. That's what you're going out to do. You're going out to make a difference. Marvel has the Avengers, right? We have you, the Golden Eagles. You are the superheroes that the world needs right now. You can applaud yourself. Now, every superhero has an origin story. Your origin story includes the family and friends who are seated around us today, loved ones, mentors, uh, great guides, and, uh, and, and, and loving partners who have helped support you on this journey, who have kept you going when times became tough, who've kept believing in you uh, while you struggled to achieve and succeeded, even when uh, you had those moments that you wanted to give up. They were by your side and pressing you to keep going. So yes, this is your moment, Golden Eagles, but it also belongs to those whose love and support helped you achieve this goal. And in that spirit, I would like to ask all the parents joining us today, all of the parents, to please stand, if you're able, and let us thank you. All of the mothers and fathers, all of the parents. Now, you remain, you remain standing, and we're going to add to you all of the grandparents who are here with us today, the grandparents. How about the aunts and uncles? the sisters and brothers, the nieces and nephews, the spouses and partners and children, and all of the friends of the class of 2020, stand and let us thank you. Terrific. Terrific. Thank you very much. You have done so much to bring us to this point. And uh, I applaud every one of you. The class of 2020 also includes a number of military veterans who have served our nation with valor and then returned to Cal State LA to earn a degree. And I want to add that uh, for a few months this spring, we had here at Cal State LA a mega site for COVID vaccination. That mega site was staffed almost entirely by active duty and reserve military. And those folks helped us to administer half a million doses of COVID vaccine. They were here every day. So, so those, those, those uh, military leaders and all of the veterans with us here today have uh, done a service around the world and uh, helped to make it a better place. And in that regard, I would like to ask any military veterans who are among our graduates or among our guests to please stand and let us thank you. <laughs> veterans, there we go. Uh, terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, uh, today's a big day. It is uh, an unforgettable chapter, I hope, in the story of your life. And you are writing the future chapters. And as you do, I hope that you will never forget the faculty and staff and fellow students who were part of your journey. I hope that you'll never forget the lessons that you learned during your time at Cal State LA. I hope you'll never forget 
the bravery and power and tenacity and expertise that you have today as a result of your relationship with this great university. No one can take these away from you. They will serve you well in the years ahead. Wherever you go in life, remember, you are a golden eagle and you will soar. Congratulations. All right, now we've come to uh, a very special part of today's commencement. Uh, on the recommendation of the California State University Board of Trustees, Christine Devine has been selected to receive an honorary doctoral degree. Here to present Ms. Devine with the honorary doctorate is California State University trustee Douglas Fagan. Trustee Fagan. Good afternoon. So, uh, speaking of uh, President Covino's description of changing the world, we're here today to, in part, honor uh, someone who's been doing that for, for many, many years. And uh, the citation from the CSU Board of Trustees that we're about to award reads as follows. As, <clears throat> excuse me, as one of the longest serving news anchors on any major Los Angeles television station, Christine Devine is a unique individual who has been instrumental in making Los Angeles one of the world's great modern cities. She's provided the people of Los Angeles the information they need for successful personal lives, success in civic engagement, and success in building community. In addition, her activities on behalf of children have changed numerous lives for the better. This year marks her 30th anniversary at KTTV Channel 11. In 2012, she was named by Los Angeles Magazine among the 50 women changing LA. To date, she's earned 16 Emmys, and in 2011 received the esteemed Governor's Award from the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. In 2018, she was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Honor from the Radio and Television News Association, and Christine Devine is widely known for her long-running weekly adoption segment, Wednesday's Child. This regular uh, segment showcases children in foster care in need of permanent homes. More than 455 children have found adopted families thanks to these efforts. The broadcast... <laughs> the broadcast focuses on older children, large sibling groups, and children with special needs. For these efforts, Ms. Devine was honored as an angel in adoption by the U.S. Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute. Christine Devine calls herself a cheerleader for children. She's worked with her young mentees to refurbish apartments at a crisis center for girls, perform at Central Juvenile Hall, and paint a mural at a domestic violence shelter. Other honors bestowed on her include Best Anchor Team from the Associated Press, Media Volunteer of the Year Award from the Volunteers of America, Lifetime Achievement from the Century City Chamber of Commerce, and numerous press club awards. She received the Anna Quinlan Award for Philanthropy Journalism from the Society of Professional Journalists and the Angelo Award from the Interagency Council on Child Abuse and Neglect. Active in the community, she's been honored by the Los Angeles City Council, Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, the Los Angeles Police Department, and Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Ms. Devine is a graduate of Arizona State University. She missed her chance at a really good school. <laughs> she was inducted into the Hall of Fame at the ASU Walter Cronkite School of Broadcast Journalism, where she has also funded a scholarship. In recognition of these extraordinary accomplishments, the Board of Trustees of the California State University 
and California State University, Los Angeles, are proud to confer upon Christine Devine the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. By the authority vested in me, I confer upon Christine Devine the degree of Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Christine, congratulations. I know it is way too hot for that long bio, sorry. <laughs> um, good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Fagan and the Cal State Board of Trustees. I appreciate this so much. Now, Dr. Devine was always my father, so you all can still call me Christine. <laughs> Graduates, congratulations. Felicitacion y los padres. Es un día increíble. You are making history. Graduates, you have persevered through unprecedented politics, a global pandemic, protests in our streets. It is the story of your graduation years. And I say years because this is the class of 2020. We were supposed to do this last year. The coronavirus may have canceled last year's commencement ceremony, but not your accomplishment. You will forever tell the story of how you walked in graduation in the midst of an ever-changing pandemic with our masks still in hand. For some of you, it has been a time of heartbreak and loss of a loved one or two or more. So I'd like us to bow our heads for just a moment and pause to remember those we lost but know are still in your heart, if we could do that now. Thank you. Cal State President Covina, we thank you for the opportunity to come together. We thank you for this chapter that is so important to the Cal State LA graduate, a graduation. Some of you went to school and you worked full time. Some care for family, some of you are students, and a mother or father. The beauty of the Cal State LA student is that you know how hard you had to work to get here. This is a campus that, as you look around, you can tell welcomes diversity. It is a place that says, yes, we want you exactly as you are. The School of Social Work, I say thank you for this prestigious recognition, for welcoming a news reporter into your ranks. Much of the reason I'm here is due to the Wednesday's Child segment that first aired on Fox in 1995. I know some of you weren't even born in 1995. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, it is a new segment that showcases children in foster care in need of adoptive families. There have been more than 500 adoptions. A teenager once said to me who wasn't in the program, I'd never seen anything positive on kids in foster care on TV until this. A woman ran up to me sobbing one day and said, I was in foster care in a gang and homeless. And as a kid, I used to watch Wednesday's Child and wish I was one of them. A man recently thanked me for befriending his nephew. He said he'd been in foster care and juvenile hall. He said he wished he had something like Wednesday's child. The greatest contribution, though, is to take away the stigma of children in the so-called system, to show them with the laughter that we all have inside, to acknowledge their story and their self-worth, to allow them to advocate for themselves, to also shine the light on the social worker. Your own Cal State LA professor, Dr. William Wong, would you please stand in the back there? Dr. Wong is the longtime DCFS coordinator. <laughs> is my partner in this nationally recognized program that has won an Emmy. I didn't invent Wednesday's Child. Dr. Wong, you know it found me. We've had a lot of long, deep conversations. 
It was part of my family's story, though, my personal growth and healing of my heart. My own parents were foster and adoptive parents. I saw the story from the perspective of a, chain, a strange child coming into my home when I was a kid. I saw the hurt and heartache of a boy who'd lost touch with his mother, who had drug addiction issues, who was removed from the home of his grandmother. He said when the social worker came for him, he was sitting on the swing crying. My mission throughout my whole career in news was to do stories on people and places that were working to end those kinds of tears, to heal the hurt, to uplift our communities. The Wednesday's Child Program includes every Fox 11 colleague, every photographer, every editor, every staff member who got that on the air. But I want to thank one gentleman who is here with us today, News Director Jose, Jose Rios, who put me on the main anchor desk about 25 years ago and brought in the Wednesday's Child Program. Jose Rios, thank you so much. I owe you everything in my career. Thank you. So I say, class of 2020, you don't have to uplift the masses. You have to uplift just one person. And I know that's inside of you because that's why you're here. I encourage you to go out in the world and come back, become a member of your alumni association. I am proud to now be a Golden Eagle. I'm a trustee of my alma mater, Arizona State University, whose motto is, not whom you exclude, whom you include. I can't think of a better fit for me to receive an honorary degree in California than Cal State LA for its inclusion. Thank you very much. Just gracias para esta distinción. Gracias. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin designations summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude to students who maintain an outstanding academic record while earning their degrees. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic accomplishments. Will the candidates for graduation with honors please rise and be recognized? Please be seated. We will now present graduates of the Rongxiang Shu College of Health and Human Services. They have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the university faculty who taught them. We invite master's degree graduates to the stage to be presented. Helen Loretta Hawkins. Leilani Octavia Derrett. Johnny Manuel Garcia, Jr. Alisa Nicole Solorzan. And Janae Ray Gonzalez. Yasmin Sosa. Norma Edith Robles. Michelle Lau Perdon Wong. Amel Zakia Keber. Christopher Edward Aono. Lydia Estrada. Joanna Gutierrez.
Leria Marie Rivera. James Keith Miller Jr. With a Master of Social Work, Samantha Diana Hurtado. Jennifer Catalina Larios. Brenda Orozco. Jennifer Chavez. Dorian Zaragoza. Eduardo Rodriguez. Maria Luis Venegas. Amy Elizabeth Click. Christy Ann Reed. Yesenia Robledo. Angie Marie Jaime. Marlene Becerra. Ana Karen Diaz Sanchez. Courtney Janaya Webster. Valerie Sanchez. Sophia Dawidoff. Abel Paul Lara. <laughs> Emilia Noemi Arevalo. Jeannie Kwan. Mona Lisa Salazar. Danushe Elizabeth Cruz. Evelyn Esther Martinez. Asuka Fergus Ng. Sofia Salazar. Yamilet Martinez. Natalie Pacheco Guzman. Janet Carmelita Rios. Daisy Anaís Hernández. Jasmine Shendali Ramirez Morales. Claribel Cortez. Linda Zuniga Lozano. Lisette Solis. Christopher Felix. Estefania Alvarez Melo. Jasmine Gonzalez. Melissa Marie Herrera. Daniela Ekaterina Sarmina. Morgan Alexandra Hunter. Jose L. Carmona.
Jason Sanchez. Gabriela Nicole Najera. Liliana Raquel Marquez. Sandra Cruz. Sueli Solares. Sal Osorio. Adrian Nicole Quiles. Juana Aguirre. Oralia Reyes. Douglas Alberto Alvarado. Crystal Nicole Villarrea. Anthony Cepeda. Maria Carmen Terrazas. Deanna Jasmine Flores. Cole Angelina Mesa. Talia Castro. Congratulations. We invite bachelor's degree graduates to the stage to be presented. Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Uriel Medina. Natalie Acosta. Priscilla Mai Landin. Joseph Andrew Ortiz. Derek Michael Duran. Cassandra Nicole Morales. Alejandra Castañeda. Maria Isabel Moreno Borjas. Stephanie Gallegos. Carlos Humberto Payan Jr. Stephanie Iniguez. Daniela Herrera. Graciela Ramirez. Jordan Kylie Williams. Micaela Manabe. Stephen Daniel Sanchez. Cristiani Viña Señor. Manuel Salgado.
Magali Natalie García. Shelly Shen. Alicia Victoria Marrufo. Brianne Jacqueline Gamboa. Karen Joanna Castillo. Luis Roberto Visoni. Mauricio Aguirre Jr. Lizette Vargas. Noemí Aileen Bonilla Ruano. Crystal Gonzalez. Jasmine Balbuena. Jessica Tran. Skyler S. Jung. Taspia Raman Samia. Nurses Caradolian. Jason Ruiz Perez. Kareli Acevedo Rojas. Victoria Lee Turner. Stephanie Herrera. Amy Alejandra Caro Cruz. Elizabeth Perez. Bren and Kyra G. Talaro. Christina Erin Ponce. Stephanie Chu. Daisy Alejandra Hernandez. Daisy Stephanie Escobar. Mónica Beatriz Alférez Merino. Destiny Erlinda Sepúlveda. Karina Quiroz. Nicole Stephanie Llegas. Vanessa Esmeralda Cuevas. Nancy Santián. Verónica Patricia Gómez. Bridget Arlene Feliz. María Guadalupe Cruz Ramírez. Gina Yetunde Omoefe Alaka. Karina Ruiz. Diana Garcia Quiroz. Right. 
Alexandra Gales Yoko Nicholas. Elizabeth Buzz. Valerie DeHinton. Abigail De Real. Nicole Denise Sulca Guerra. Amaris Gineth Zamora. Gabriela Jerónimo. Sally Acosta. Bonnie Tran. Carla Montes. Veronica Ibarra. Amber Jennifer Nunez. Daisy Rose Chides. Maria Mercado. Elizabeth Del Carmen Sanchez. Raymond C. Myra Montalvo. Jennifer Delgado. Janet Macias. Paula Alejandra Aguilar. Nancy Sanchez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Communicative Disorders, Cecilia Cristal Barrueta. Zulema Elizabeth Vidal. Maria Jasmine Footing Morava. Niajla Amin Mohammed. Stacy Laris. Carol Baeza. Samantha Christine Espadas. Stevie Joy Bouchard. Victoria Mercedes Andrade. Cynthia Delgado Mondragon. Erica Selene Pacheco. Gia Desiree Castro. Alejandra Guillen. Justine de Jesus Balling. Eric Munoz. 
Jana Lynn Crisostomo. Jordan Alyssa Gomez. Daisy Bernal. Noah Ryan Salvador. Karen Lisbeth Castaneda. Ivy Jane Chang. Brianna Talisha Lewis. Jeanette Carmen Delgado. Eileen Trejo. Christian Mendoza. Fiora Brown Harris. Madeline Mackenzie Meyer. Abraham Oviedo. Marissa Valenzuela. Sephora Hakim. Kelly Ingram. Cynthia Lisbeth Ruelas Villanueva. Karina Corral. Jessica G. Perez. Margarita Fernandez. Kayla Arleni Huertos Mendez. Marlene Torres. Gabriela Amesqua. Amanda Monique Ortega. Anayetsi Sitlali Ramirez. Gabriela Michelle Perez. Giselle Dominguez. Melissa Kimberly Vasquez. Christian Michael Ramos. Evalina Viola Martinez Chin. Ragad Albada. Maria Guadalupe Mendoza. Yesenia Uribe. Cynthia Murataya. Blanca Gabriela Vasquez. Mariana Caro. Janessa Adriana Baltazar. Sara A. Sosa. Lisette Ramirez. Raquel Ivania Leva. Melissa Mendez. Rosa Isela Cruz. Rocio Miranda Adorno.
And last but not least, Ligia Andrea Rodriguez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Odalis Macedo. Jelaine Bianca P. Driz. Migdalia Hernandez. Stephanie Arayeli Diaz. Maria Elena Becerra. Diana Guadalupe Mateos. Yolanda Kimberly Serrano. Elide Solano Morales. Rebecca Rodriguez. Stephanie Rojas Gomez. Griselda Fausto. Priscilla Avila. Angela Alejandra Sarmiento. Juan Francisco Sandoval. Jennifer Berenice Arias. Daniela Melesi Hernandez. Erika Hernandez. Catherine Aguilar. Sean Christopher Boykin. Sarai Rebecca Fonseca. Jasmine Yvette Casillas. Diana Jessica Gallegos. Irene Zamora. Ingrid Flores. Jonathan Chagoya. Elide Ramirez. Sonia Del Villar. Mayra Guadalupe Moreno Cortez. Adriana Lisette Esqueda. Stephanie Kathleen Moore. Anai Sotelo. Shamin Singh. Mackenzie Margaret Nelson. Nancy Guadalupe Jimenez. Liana Nicole Hernandez. Maria Asensio. Maria 
Lilibet Oregon Garcia. Estela Mireles Juárez. Jessica Beatriz Carpio. Andrea Garcia. Giselle Lopez. Azmin Ramirez. Alexandra Michelle Garcia. Julio Araujo Jr. Jocelyn Paola Reyes. Mary Aguirre Gomez. Miriam Denise Mueller Guerrero. Prince Alessan Cisse. Yolanda Hernandez. Maggie Q. Lee. Jaslyn Alexis Salcedo. Stephanie Sarai Gonzalez. Javier Sepulveda Jr. Paola Karina Estrada Juarez. Denise Padilla. Leslie Clarissa Rivas. Serena Alexandra Padilla. Erika Esther Estrada. Audrey Janice Aguirre. Crystal Maravilla. Jasmine Noel Escobedo. Liliana Fernandez. Krista Jacqueline Gledhill. Saul Alberto Mangandi. Juan Carlos Guevara Rojas. Jacqueline Simjian. Joanna Aguilar. Marlene Vargas. Tiffany Marie Valenciano. Charlotte Chow Cam. Dolores D. Luis. Azani Swinney. Sibel Guadalupe Rodriguez Gonzalez. Jaylene Romero Cardenas. Justine Adriana Soto. And last but not least, Gabriela Arteaga.
That was great. We're going to do it just once more, all right? It was, think of it as a dress rehearsal, right? And we'll, no? All right. All right. That's okay. You, you, no, you look terrific. That's great. I learned a lot of new poses, too, for my, you know, my own photographic exploits. Uh, all right, let's make this official. Will the master's degree graduates of the Rongchang Chu College of Health and Human Services please rise if you're able for the conferral of degrees. There they are. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you are qualified with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You sit down for a minute now. We'll get back to you. Now, let's have the bachelor's degree graduates from the Rongchang Shu College of Health and Human Services please rise for the conferral. All right, here we go. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree for which you are qualified with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Now, you move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. All right, let's get everybody up, everybody up. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020, here they are. At this time, the University Hymn will be performed by the Cal State LA Graduate Choral Ensemble, conducted by Chris Ornelas. Please turn your attention to the screen. Congratulations, graduates. This marks the end of your ceremony. Please follow the directions of university ushers as you leave the field and meet your guests. Thank you. <laughs>